So I took to the seas, the one place where I knew I would be safe. For many months, we sailed the great oceans of the world. We docked at mysterious scented islands under the Southern Cross. We swam with mermaids, and we carried fabulous cargoes of silks and spices, jade and mahogany. And once, even, we carried a human cargo of slaves. Providence had decreed me a man without a country, yet I was not without a purpose. Though I had formerly served in His Majesty's army, it was my academic background and my intimate knowledge of history that led the captain of our ship to call on me to chronicle our journey through the written world. Enter. Captain, compliments, Mr. Crusoe. Thank you. Shut the door. Though Patrick's death brought about my exile, it was the thought of Mary, of the knowledge that I would have a hand in marriage upon my return that kept my spirit strong as our voyage continued. Our little ship had met and bested foul weather and high seas on three oceans. Sometimes the storms would last a week or more. But I grew ever more confident in the skills of our captain and his crew. 